Good morning YouTube and welcome to another video. So just before we jump into my debut race weekend at the Festival of Power, I just wanted to quickly describe to you what sort of racing I do, what sort of drag racing I do. When people think of drag racing, they think of how fast you can get from point A to point B, and that is drag racing, but not when you're at the entry level version of the sport. The version that I do and that everyone does when they start is called bracket racing. And basically you choose how fast your car is gonna go from point A to point B. So say my car's gonna do a 16 second run, I'm then gonna write 16 seconds on the back window and I have to consistently get as close to as possible that number that I write on the back window. Now this allows everyone to race in the same race with a different car. So I could have a Ferrari next to me running a 12 second and me running a 16 second. If I get a 16.1 and the Ferrari gets a 12.3, I'm gonna win that race because I'm 0.1 of a second within my dial-in and he's 0.3 of a second. So the closer to the dial-in wins. Except in my class, the guys are running much faster with their bracket than a 0.1. They're like a 0.01 or a 0.001 in some cases. So the bracket racing allows everyone to run in the same race so that the guy with the most money doesn't always win because he's got the fastest car. So there's a really quick intro of how to, uh, how to bracket race, just so that you understand whilst I'm talking about bracket racing and dialing times, throughout this video you'll see Different, different numbers written on people's windows, and that's what that means. So, hope you enjoy the video. Ooh, let's have a cup of tea. Okay, good morning. So, we're here. It's Friday. It's first day of kind of qualifying runs. Test day was yesterday at the um, Santa Pod Festival of Power. If you've watched my other videos, you'll know that I did a test day last week in the Gulf. This is just past scrutineering, so we're all good to race. Now, I've just got to remember how to race and stage properly and everything. So. It's a, it's a big event for me because it's my first one. But obviously these guys, a lot of these guys have been doing it years, six years, 10 years, stuff like that. So I'm excited and I've got probably about two, two and a half hours until I have to sort of get ready and run. Tire pressure is a standard sort of 20, oh no, 32 PSI. So they're pretty high tire pressures, but that's what's specified for this car for the road. And I've no idea how it's gonna react. I'm gonna put my dial-in time on the rear window for my bracket so you have to write your time on the bracket and from the last event the testing that I did it was 1655 655 would be quick 1655 for this car was running on a non-prep track so I think it will go quicker and if it goes quicker than 1655 I'll change it I'll wipe it off the window and um, and yeah put a, put a faster time on I really don't know what it's going to do on a prep surface so today is kind of a big learning day for me and um, yeah, all my race kits signed off and everything. So we're all good. I'll show you the numbers on the back of the car, actually. There you go. There's my race number. Official race car. Got my race team here, look. Fastest lane. That's a good spot, isn't it? That's very good. That's a person just there. Obviously not scared of heights. Okay, so we're about to get called up for my qualifying round number one. So this is the first time on the track for me this weekend. And um, I'm going to have it filmed from the outside. So hopefully you can see it from the outside because um, I'm not too sure on the inside cameras. I don't know if you're allowed them yet. So hopefully it will go all right. This is me trying to get the oil and the coolant temperature correct before my run, but not getting everything too hot. I also look a bit nervous here as my total runs in this car down the strip at this point are less than 20 in my life. The drive down to the track is a short one, roughly a quarter of a mile from our pits at this event. Pairing lanes and qualifying, you can go up against anyone. It doesn't really matter as you're racing the time in the back of your window, as I explained earlier, not the person next to you. You can see that there's all different cars in the class. Anything that runs about 12 seconds or more is allowed. Sub 12, you're into the class above called Pro ET. Just for reference, a 12 second car is something like a Mercedes GTC AMG Coupe, a BMW M8, a V10 Audi R8, a Dodge Viper, big boy stuff like that. The nerves are real at this point, as I'm a novice at this, but I soon get the hang of it. And first round, I'm running with Chris in his 1996 4.6 litre V8 Mustang dialed in at 15.54 seconds, which should be slightly faster than the Golf. OK, 
Okay, so on that one, I ran a 16.29, which is, I put 16.55 bracket, so I've, I've broken out as I've gone too fast. Um, and my reaction time wasn't even that that fast. It was 0.47. So what I've done now is, I don't know if you can see it, I've put 16.00 for the next run. It's now four o'clock and we've not been called up yet. Next up, I'm running with Holly in another 90s V8 Mustang. Okay, good morning guys. It is day two. It has just gone nine o'clock, which is the noise curfew. So everyone's uh, everyone's turned their engines on. I didn't report on that last run that I had last night, uh, but I did a 15.97, which is going some in a two litre diesel golf, I tell you that. This Mustang, this Ford Mustang, which I think is a V8 Mustang next to me, he did 15.58. So I'm only, what's that? Point four of a second off of a v8 mustang in the diesel golf so i broke out again yesterday by 0 0.03 on my time 0 0.03 that's that's nothing which is so annoying because that would have been a really good qualifying time but because i've broken out twice qualifying round one and qualifying round two i'm now quite low on the leaderboard i think i'm like 17th qualifier out of 19 or something stupid like that because I keep breaking out and breaking out is bad. So what I've done today is I've put a 1590 on the back of the car and it's colder this morning. And I know this car, it likes being cold. The, the denser air in the turbo makes it go quicker. That's the theory anyway. Sorry, we're, we're just getting, getting revs by some junior dragsters here. But yeah, so the theory is stop breaking out. So I've dropped it down to 15.9. If it runs a bit quicker, if it runs faster than 15.9, I don't know what I'm gonna do, I've had it, because it just keeps, the Golf just keeps going faster and faster and faster. It's gotta stop at some point because it's getting pretty quick. I'll be running the same times as these V8 Mustangs. So there we go, that's that's the news for today. I'm warming everything up now, engine's running. I've wiped the car down to try and get it, try and get it as, uh, as, as clean and as free of water as possible because they don't like you dropping water on the racetrack. We're gonna be one of the first ones up because we didn't do qualifying round three last night. So it runs on from last night. So should be called up within the next sort of half hour really. And then uh, yeah, try and do a Q3 time. Fingers crossed. Whilst we're driving down to the pairing lanes, the Supra in front is also running in the class. And you can see here that Jill has a 16 dial in on her window, which is a little slow for that car. So she's anticipating that as the air is colder or the track is colder, she'll run slower. Back up with Chris this time in the pairing and with the last run I ran a 16.26 which is about 0.3 seconds off my dial in so my theory that the car was going to run faster was wrong but I also missed third gear. Okay, so we're in the pairing lanes now to go to Q4. I'm skeptical it's 20 to 3 whether we're going to get a Q5 at all. I, I think if I don't think we'll get one today, and then unless it's really late tonight, and then um, yeah, tomorrow morning is elimination. So this could be the last qualifying run, and I'm currently 16. So let's see how this one goes. Next pass, I'm paired with Jane in her amazing Ford Escort van. You can see that as this is the Saturday, the crowds are pretty monstrous. 
Lots of people getting burnt, and me included in that. It's at this point that spending the last two weeks driving everywhere in my race boots to make sure that I have good clutch control doesn't seem so stupid. Jane got a great 60 foot there and shot off in front of me and I had to chase her down the whole way. Okay, so on that run, I ran a 16.04, which is annoying because my reaction time was pretty slow, so 0.3357. So if I'd have done my reaction time of 0 0.05, the car would have been going a 15.70 something, I think. So it's getting quicker and quicker with every run. So that's not great, but I'm still 16th qualifier, qualifier, can't even speak. Um, because a 0.14 isn't that bad, so I'm only 0.14 out of my bracket of 15.9. But it's kind of 6 o'clock now, and um, and it's getting colder, and this car loves cold air. So I think I'm going to drop the ET down and try and get a good reaction time. So I'll drop it probably to a 15.8, and then try and do like a 0.1 reaction time, and it should run close to that, I hope. That's the theory anyway. Running with Felicity in another 90s Mustang, but the V6 one this time, so her dial-in is slightly slower than mine, I think she's at a 17.1. At this point it's about 8pm so you can see that the crowds have thinned considerably to go home and get the after sun on. Okay, so it is Sunday morning and I haven't done an update on the times last night, but the car ran a 16.26 and I dialed in a 15.8. So I thought the cold temperature would make it go, you know, a fair bit quicker because this car tends to like cold air. Uh, but yeah, it didn't. It went, it went 0.46 too slow. So that's a bit annoying, but I've tried to, I've tried to dial it in the best today. I'm, I'm currently 18th qualifier and I think with the six that was with the 1604 run that was my best run i was only out by 0.14 of a second so 18 out of 21 for my first go i don't think is too bad um i think we're running quite early this morning so i'm getting the car nice and warm i've dialed in a 160 for this run i've just done the tire pressures but i just want to show you my reaction time for last night's run was 0 0.03 so i'm pretty pleased with that that's that's pretty good um but yeah and um, <laughs> so I was just giving the, the finger to my uh, competitor in the next race. Eliminations next. I'm against Chris, who's in the Mustang next to me. He's running like a 15, 57. So um, we'll see how it goes. If I run a 16, 26 this morning on a 16 dial in, I'll be out. But it's all a bit of fun. So let's see. Okay, so there we have it. I am out eliminations round one. So um, I broke out by 0.26 on my 16 dial in. 
Uh, sorry, didn't break out. I went 2.26 too slow on my 16 dial in. So not too bad, actually. Really not too bad. I've had great fun this weekend. What what goes on from here is that I am entered into Spring Speed Nationals. That's two weeks today and I need to do some testing. So I've got a test day a week today, which will be the next video that you see testing the C63 at the Run What You Brung. Um, just kind of getting used to launching with an automatic. And then from there, I've gone... Yeah, I've got it basically, I've gone for the test day on the Thursday for Spring Speed Nationals. So then I've got test day and three days of racing. So a long, a long journey, but I've had fun and that's the main thing. I think I'm getting the hang of it slowly, which is really nice. Some people take it really seriously, but obviously as long as I'm enjoying it and you guys are enjoying it, then it's worthwhile doing. So thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video and um, yeah, I'll see you at the next uh, test day, which is in a week's time. So I'm, I'm just going to go and put some aloe vera on my, uh, on my sunburn because it's pretty bad. Um, and that's one thing that I've learned is take sun cream because the Easter weekend has been mighty hot. So see you then.